This is EGA Trek, or as I called it when I was a kid, Ega Trek, because I didn't know what EGA meant. I didn't know it was a graphics format. I didn't know about VGA. I didn't know anything except that I loved Star Trek and everything similar to it. So, yeah, this is uh, a We Require a Briefing, I guess so. USS Lexington, RCB-92. <laughs> Good morning, Captain. As you know, you have been given command of the Heavy Research Slash Battle Cruiser. <laughs> I'm deviating a bit from Star Trek there. USS Lexington, Standard Fleet Designation, RCB-92. The Lexington is staffed with its full complement of 387 enlisted crewmen and 43 officers and is fully battle ready. If you will allow me, I have prepared several briefings, including an intelligence report on the current state of affairs and introduction to the Lexington class uh, X, I mean 9, starships, and the commands at your disposal as captain. Cue to quit me, okay. As you probably know, <laughs> Why, why are you telling me that? The Mongol Empire has declared war on the Union. The Vandal Empire has joined the hostilities in some areas but should be avoided if possible. As a result, a Mongol invasion fleet and scattered Vandal ships are now present in part of Union territory. The Mongols are basically the Klingons and the Vandals are basically the uh, uh, Romulans. Romulans. And uh, the Union is the Federation. You know, it's all just changed the names. Your mission as commander of Lexington is to secure a 64 quadrant section of the galaxy from the Mongols. You may also be called upon to make rescues, but remember that your primary objective is to eliminate the Mongols. The Mongols are known to be present in this area, but exact locations are unknown at this time. You will be required to scan for Mongols as you move through the galaxy. We've made several star bases available in this area as well, but we cannot give you their exact location as they are presently still being positioned. Oh, great. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, it looks quite a bit like a Federation ship. <laughs> a Starfleet ship, but it's a bit more triangular. Yeah. And apparently I need to know, like, its exact <laughs> length in feet to the, the first decimal point. But it's cool. I like it. Cruising speed of up to warp factor 6. You can manage warp 8 in emergencies, just like the uh, Constitution class Enterprise. <laughs> It's for traveling between quadrants, of course. Within a quadrant, you have to use the impulse engines. The following commands are available to you. Okay, this is a bit, um, you know. I'm just going to probably skip through a bit of this because it's not that exciting. Okay, ready to begin. Captain Jim in command. Command level uh, one. Self destruct password um, zero, zero, zero. Destruct, oh, destruct, zero, there. <laughs> okay, and so it begins. Uh, right, this is my my ship here, this little Starfleet-y looking ship with a triangular thing going on. And here are these very Klingon looking battleships you can see on the main viewer. Uh, these are the enemies, and let's see if we can destroy them. Now, uh, I'll just uh, see, this. This there's these codes here which indicate... Uh, the two, the first number indicates the number of Mongol ships in the system, which is uh, two. The one indicates there's a star base, and the eight indicates the number of planets, or stars, sorry, which you can see here. So I've got to destroy these two ships, and I guess I'll start with the one close to me. So let's begin by firing lasers. L for lasers. Amount to fire, amount to fire. Uh, oh, I see. Over here, it's got my... Uh, sort of amount of energy I can fire. So I guess I can fire it, that's the 2-1, so I guess I can fire at both of them. So let's give them 50 each. So 50, 28 hit on Mongol, okay. And 50 for you. 44 hit, good. And look, the, oh, they're firing back. Yeah, okay. Shields absorb 118 unit from 2-1, 42 unit hit from Mongol at 8-2. Where's my shield power? Okay, down here, they seem to be pretty well intact so let's uh, continue firing lasers uh, let's the same again 28 hit and 44 again okay and we are shields are holding oh wait those are the shields there okay so why don't we fire some torpedoes uh, see if we can finish off let's see let's just fire two at uh, wait a minute, which is the, 
think it's 8-2. And also at 8-2. Did it! Oh, I missed, I missed because it was already a pile of, uh, a big cloud of destroyed things before uh, my second torpedo went through. So, excellent. Well done, Sir Cruz. And oh, look, you can even see that on the main view screen it's further away. Uh, okay, let's continue firing lasers because uh, these aren't very effective at long range. 55 hit, okay. Shields down to 55% approximately. Long range scanners are being jammed. Okay, can I get a, a scan on the uh, enemy ship? Let's see. Yeah, info. Aha, uh -huh. shields at 70%. Okay, well, in this case, let's fire a torpedo. Torpedoes fire one at sector two one. There it goes. Are you mad? You damaged the base. Oh shit. Well, it shouldn't have been in the way, should it? <laughs> okay. Uh, shields are still holding. Let's continue firing. 100. Now, I wonder if I can actually fire more than 100 because, uh, yeah, let's try that. Let's try 500. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty. Excellent. Mongol destroyed. So I guess uh, the amount I'm firing is actually what is uh, contributing to the temperature here. I don't know. It's something you'll have to get a feel for. Status green. Okay, let's dock with this starbase. If we can. D for dock. And we're not close enough. Okay, so how do we move? So this is a game that... Um, oh, quadrant and sector... Um, well, I don't want to move qua my quadrant, so six, six, uh, three, one. Block by object is three. Oh yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I, but I, like, I can see it on the view screen. That's cool. Yeah. So this game, uh, this game, I ain't played in ages. The administrators for Star Trek Six, Starby Six, greets us. Excellent. And we have full torpedoes, full shields, and all that good stuff. And this game is something that I played on my brother's 486 quite a while ago. And the trouble with Ain't Played in Ages, I'm running out of games to actually put on it. Not so much because yeah, I didn't play a lot of games, but because I don't really remember all the games that I played. So, yeah, let's go to sector 5, 7, 5, 5. Yeah, warp speed, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> okay, and here is the... Oh, Starbase in... Sector 37 is under attack. They can last until 3522.9. Okay, now I can acknowledge these messages and uh, with A, and they're acknowledged. <laughs> so you can shut up about them. Alright, let's fire our lasers. 750. Yeah! <laughs> you stand no chance. You have no chance to survive make your time okay wait a minute i shouldn't have acknowledged that message because i forgot what sector it was in <laughs> oh dear how sad okay um it was three something i don't know uh is it three eight i don't know let's find out move sector three eight quadrant three eight one one there engage wait a minute my warp speed is set to one that means it's gonna t oh look at the time three seven Okay, and uh, I, I was I was only one off, and but funny I hadn't been going at warp one like a like an idiot from the twenty first century. <laughs> okay, let's set our warp speed to six cruising speed. Excellent. There are twenty Mongols remaining. Uh, there seems to be yeah. Okay, well let's let's at least have our vengeance on these Mongols, Klingons or whatever they are. Let's see if I can just specify that. Yeah. Oh no, okay. If I specify if I don't specify a four digit number then it just goes to uh local stuff. Okay. Three enemy ships, so uh, let's fire lots of stuff. So yeah, I played this on my brother's uh uh four eight six quite a while ago. Lasers overheat now running at 97% efficiency. Oh no! Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, I couldn't. Re I, I couldn't remember. I, I vaguely had memories of this game, but I couldn't remember what 
um, you know what the game was called, and that's the problem with with Ain't Played in Ages. Is I have a lot, I have these vague memories, but I can't really remember so much, you know, what these games are called. And I wish there was some kind of database. I mean, I know there are things like Moby Games, but I wish there was something that just had like this really long, sort of, just long list of. Uh, um, oh, laser efficiency reduced by damage. Damn it. It's, ah. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I, I wish it was like a long list of just images like that you could just browse through until you see something familiar because names don't ring the bells that that um, the images do. Uh, wait a minute, 6-6 six, six and 6-8. Six, Fire torpedoes! Yes! Look at them go. Now this game is uh, apparently based on uh, Clean Mist, sir. Oh good, I'm glad it was clean. I couldn't do with a dirty mess. That would be terrible. Okay, 500. Kill them. Yes. Excellent. Okay, lasers are slightly damaged now. Can I repair them? Aha. Uh -huh. Status of repair. Okay, I guess I need to... Okay, repair time. Docked and undocked. Right, well, there's a nearby star base, and I'm down to half my torpedoes. So let's head to quadrant 27. Gauge warp speed. So yeah, this is this is a really cool. Oh, Vandal Death Pod enters quadrant ninety four. Unit hit on Lexington. What? What happened? I don't understand. All right. Anyway, let's dock. Energy and shields restored to full. Okay. <laughs> SETI Alpha two. Uh, it's not. Uh, this is SETI Alpha five. SETI Alpha six exploded six months after we were left here. Yeah, um, let's uh, see if I can go into orbit of this planet. Uh, yes, O for orbit. Entering standard orbit, planet Vega 2, type N. Scanners show a Mongol supply station on the planet. Hmm. Land, yes, let's let's uh, have an away team thing happen. Cannot use transporters or shuttlecraft with shields up. Okay, so shields down. And land. How do you wish to get to the planet? Let's use our transporter. Landing parties transport, alerting planet, planet. Mongol supplies captured, none. Landing party beaming up. Okay, that was kind of pointless. Um, hmm. Let's shoot the planet. Lasers. Uh, oh, nothing to shoot. Okay. Uh, I suppose a torpedo isn't going to do much to a planet either. Uh, well, let's, let's raise shields. Shop. Uh, yes. Good. <laughs> uh, this, this is cool. It's, I, you know. I, I really I do love the Alvi Looked Oldy series of course, but um nothing beats nostalgia really. You know. It's oh, blocked by object. What? Oh God's sake. Okay, move off to the edge of the sector then. Uh seven one. And oh, what happened? Vandal Death Pod enters quadrant sixty eight. Oh, ends quadrant sixty eight unit hit on Lexicon. Okay. Not quadrant yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> confusing so yeah I, I kept thinking is this game an Amiga game I don't know um, but then I was just uh, yeah like I was saying this was based on an, an old game for the Atari ST and perhaps a previous game to that I'm not sure just called Star Trek um, what, what, what are you, oh damn it I'm being stupid okay move sector four six four 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 four, four. there because there are Mongols there. You see the two indicates the presence of two Mongol ships. And they're firing! Okay. More death pods. What the fuck is with these death pods? 168 and 150... 136, whatever. Uh, fire torpedoes! Let's fire two torpedoes at 5, 8, and 8. Oh, 8, 8. Pew. Explosion! Another... Not... Oh... Just damage. Okay, let's uh, let's get a scan on the enemy ship. Twenty percent. Okay, we can take them out with some shields. Fire shields at strength four hundred. That should do it. There we go. Excellent. It's all coming back to me. So, let's see. We have powerful. We have a decent shield level. Can we take on four Mongols? I think we can.